Amidst the ethereal boundary that divides the conscious from the realms of dreams, a vision of unparalleled clarity and mystique graced my inner vision. A radiant orb, pulsating with the light of untold galaxies, danced before my eyes, weaving a tapestry of geometric marvels that connected the heavens in a silent hymn of unity. Among the celestial congregation, Saturn, adorned in golden splendor, performed a cosmic ballet, its rings a testament to the sacred knowledge and divine clemency that underpin our existence. This vision, a celestial symphony, revealed the interconnectedness of all creation, stretching from the intimate intricacies of our solar system to the vast reaches of the cosmos. Awakened from this trance I was propelled into a state of heightened awareness. My convictions of the manuscript's completion shattered. The revelations bestowed upon me demanded a renaissance of thought and a re-evaluation of the wisdom contained within the sacred texts. My studies took me back to the Genesis narrative, exploring the depths of its Hebrew origins to uncover truths long veiled. Our journey through religious history commands a reverence for the Israelites, particularly the tribe of Judah, whose dedication to the Torah's preservation illuminates our path through history's shadows. Yet, in the pursuit of understanding, we recognize the limitations of translation, a prism that, while revealing, also distorts the divine light of the original texts. The narrative of creation, as detailed in the Hebrew scriptures, speaks of a divine architect who fashioned the universe and its inhabitants in a symphony of creation, culminating in a day of divine rest. It is here that the narrative introduces Jehovah, marking a transition in divine stewardship and suggesting the presence of a celestial council tasked with the guardianship of creation. The Hebrew letters, Yod, He, Vav, and He, encode a profound symbology, connecting divine wisdom with the celestial bodies of Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter, respectively. These letters weave a narrative of divine vision, discernment, communication, and justice, painting a picture of a universe governed by a complex yet harmonious celestial hierarchy. This celestial order with Jehovah at its helm underscores a universe of balance and law, a cosmic dance governed by eternal principles. As beings of this cosmos, we are charged with the sacred duty to align with these laws, a path that leads not only to harmony but to enlightenment and ascension. The journey of humanity, marked by moments of both serenity and turmoil, poses the eternal question of our existence within a realm of beauty and love, unmarred by malevolence. This dichotomy, the product of human agency, reflects a narrative of beings empowered to shape their destiny, a theme poignantly illustrated by the Edenic narrative. The choice to embrace knowledge over ignorance, despite its consequences, epitomizes humanity's quest for growth and understanding. This pursuit, while fraught with challenges, enriches our existence, enabling us to navigate the complexities of life and find meaning in the struggle. The progression through the space-time matrix, a journey through dimensions of judgment, mercy, and knowledge, mirrors the spiritual odyssey of humanity. Each dimension, from the judgment enforced by Jupiter to the compassionate wisdom of Saturn, offers lessons and insights pivotal to our evolution. As we traverse this cosmic matrix, we confront the dualities of existence, the ethical paradoxes that challenge our understanding and growth. Yet it is through this journey that we come to embrace the transformative power of knowledge, compassion, and forgiveness, stepping into a realm of spiritual enlightenment and unity with the divine. This narrative, a divine alchemy of cosmic lore and human endeavor, invites us to explore the depths of our being and the vastness of the cosmos. It is a call to transcend the limitations of our understanding, to embrace the mysteries of existence, and to find our place within the grand cosmic design. This journey of humanity has always been an epic voyage through the space-time matrix, a voyage where we're called to choose wisdom over ignorance, light over darkness. It's a journey that beckons us to comprehend the profound, to understand the celestial council's grand design, and to resonate with the divine rhythm of the cosmos. In this celestial dance, every step, every spin, every leap matters. We're not just observers, but active participants in this divine ballet. And remember, the cosmic laws are not shackles, but keys, keys that unlock the doors to realms of unimaginable wisdom. Imagine the universe as an intricate mosaic, each piece a star, a planet, a galaxy, fitting perfectly into the grand design. And there, amidst this breathtaking panorama, lies our place. We are not aimless wanderers in the cosmic wilderness, but purposeful travelers. We are born of stars, bound by celestial laws, and driven by divine enlightenment. In the grand cosmic design, we find our place through understanding, transformation, and enlightenment. 
We understand the Divine Architect's plan, the Celestial Council's wisdom. We transform, aligning ourselves with the cosmic laws, choosing knowledge over ignorance and progressing through the space-time matrix. And in enlightenment, we shed our limitations. We see our divine potential and embrace it. We become the radiant orb, shining brightly amidst the cosmic dark. We are the celestial symphony, harmonizing with the universe, resonating with the divine. The grand cosmic design is not a distant concept but a reality we partake in, a journey we embark on. It is our celestial home, our sacred duty, our divine destiny. In this grand cosmic design we are all but stars in our own right, destined to shine. So as we delve into the mysteries of the cosmos and our place within it, we may find that the most profound revelations are about the undiscovered frontiers within ourselves the unified theory of you.